Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Agoda app to book. So before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using Agoda? Now, we all know that Agoda here actually helps you to book hotels and homes, private stays, or even flights and hotel. Now, you could also book DVDs here and airport transfer. But again, how do we start using the platform or the app? Well, what we need to do first is we need to create an account. So go to the official website, which is going to be agoda.com. And at the top right of the screen, you should be able to see an option that says create account or sign in. Let's go and click on create account. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to fill out all the necessary details here. That includes your first name, your last name, email, the password you want to use, and the confirmation of that password. Also, you need to agree to receive updates and promotions from Agoda. So in this case, go ahead and provide all the details here and agree to the uh, op option here. And once you've all the details and hit on the sign up button here, you should be able to create your account. Also, alternatively, you could create an account using your Google account or your Facebook account or your Apple account. In this case, this is something really handy if you already have an existing account and you want to connect those two accounts. So for this example, I'm going to use my Google account. So in here, what we need to do is we need to select our account. So in this case, I'm going to use my first account here. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on continue. Now from here, it's going to start creating your account. And once your account is created, you're now ready to book specific items or specific services here on Agoda. So what we need to do first is we need to set a few things here. Like for example, the number of people who's going to stay or we will be using the service or as, as well as indicating the dates for it. Like for example, we are go or we are planning to make a stay, like say this is going to be around June 22 or let's say say June 30. And we want to actually make it or we want to actually stay up until let's just say uh, July 5th. In this case, let's go and select the appropriate dates here. And we now need to select the date or the number of people who's going to stay here. In this case, you could indicate how many rooms you want, how many adults are staying, and how many children are there. In this case, maybe I'm going to say there are going to be two adults here, and we only need two rooms here. In this case, once you've done that, you could go ahead and click on your search here. But you also need to enter a country, name of country, airport, or neighbor, or to uh, proceed on finding properties here. So let's just say, just an example, I'm going to Brisbane here. Again, I'm going to use this date here. Let's go ahead and proceed to the search button here. And it's going to give you different search results. So as you can see, we have apartments here. We have uh, the city center here or the uh, Sheraton Brisbane four point here. But this is sponsored here, so it means it's actually a ad. So you could go ahead and search for different options or for, uh, different um, options for you to enjoy here. Now, if you want to filter this out more, you could basically adjust the budget. Like for example, your minimum budget is going to be, let's just say it is going to be around 100 AUD. You can change this or the max as well. Like for example, the max that we want is around 500 AUD. Now you could change the filters here. Like for example, with pay with Agoda Cash, if they actually have internet access, you could go ahead and do that. You could also provide private full and also TB here. Now, filtering is a great way for you to filter out what you need for your travel. In this case, you also have the option to change property type. Like, for example, if you want to rent the whole apartment, service apartment here, or you want to look for hotels or resorts. Uh, resorts. We also have the neighborhood here, here. So if you're looking for a specific uh, location, like for example, we have Brisbane City Center here, Brisbane Airport here, and Four Digit Valley. So there's going to be a lot of things you can do here, and also payment options. So you could basically add the first time if you're looking, just in case something happens. If you want to uh, uh, use the free cancellation options that some uh, uh, offices or some buildings actually offer, you can go ahead and add this add this into your filters as well. Now, if you want to filter this out according to guest rating, you could choose either the following here and also the star rating and uh, all the other stuff here like room amenities, property facilities, room offers, bed type, location, uh, rating, distance to center, and a lot more. Now, if you have a pet, make sure to choose the pet allowed option here. And if you want to make out of your, your vacation here, you could also choose the kids stay for free. So if you have children, you could uh, basically select this one and hopefully you'll be able to find an accommodation that actually allows or children are actually free. So you won't have to pay for them. Also have the deals and discounts here if they actually provide 50% discounts. If again, if you want to save more on your outing. Now in this case, there are, again, there's going to be a lot of filters for you to actually look for here. 
So just to give you an example, I'm going to open up this uh, listing here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And once you click on a listing here, you should be able to see different things about it. For example, some description on it and what is the name for it. So I also have the, this is the, going to be the overview section here. Also have the highlights. So what are the highlights for this specific accommodation, like create view, check in 24 hours. So you can check in at night or at midnight so they can actually accommodate you for on whenever you arrive late, just in case. Also have the facilities that they offer here and the select your room options here and the room types that they actually offer. Now, what we need to do is we need to basically start looking for deals here or our accommodation. In this case, they also have the deal here if you want to get this. So usually there is a lot more or it actually costs less if you're going to get this deal. But first, let's go and look for different uh, options here. In this case, you should be able to see the details for it. Like for example, your price includes the extra low price here. Uh, check in, free Wi-Fi, free fitness center, uh, center access. So in this case, you can just click on either book now or add to cart here. So in this case, uh, as you can see, it slips. Uh, so if you hover over the person here, it actually offers you or will automate a travel group. So this includes two rooms and one adult. So in this case, you'll be able to average two rooms for your specific booking here. Now, at the left side, you should be able to see a specific or specifications for that bedroom. And in this case, that includes one queen bed. The room size, the city view, balcony, non-smoking or shower. So you'll be able to see what is allowed and what is included on the specific booking. In this case, if you're going to get this one, you need to get two of those because again, it's going to only include one queen bed. But since we indicated two per people, it will, it will automatically be two, set to two in here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and do this. So for example, it's offer accommodate you travel group. So this offer includes one rooms and two adults. So in this case, you could go ahead and choose whatever option you want. So for example, I want to get the cheapest one here, which is this one on 187. Let's go ahead and click on book now. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to wait for it to actually uh, finish loading up. But in this case, all we need to do is we need to start uh, finalizing this one. So in this case, if you're the one that's actually uh, booking this one, you can go ahead and just edit your information here if you want to, like your phone number, your country of regi residence. But if you're booking for someone else, make sure to click on the make this booking for someone else. They need to enter their details like full name and their country and region as well. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we just need to proceed with the final step. Just click on the final next, uh, next final step here. And from here, you just need to provide your payment details. That includes your credit, debit card number, expiry date, and CVC or CVV. Now, if you could, you could also choose the following options here, like digital payment. So, if your country or your account actually supports like the uh, e-wallets, you could leverage on using PayPal, Afterpay, Gcash, and Maya. So, it will actually would actually dep depends on your country or where you're currently staying or where your account is actually located. So, the payments options for you will differ. So in this case, you could also use Klarna and Bill Ease here if you want to use monthly payments here. But yeah, so once you provide all the payment details here that you want to use, you could go and click on book now and they will send you a confirmation that you book this specific room and from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.